introduce myself. My name is Christine Dorr. I'm a published author, an actress, a voiceover artist, a drama teacher, and an after-dinner speaker. I've been acting and writing for publication since childhood. I've played Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream at the age of 12 and had newspaper articles published from the age of 11. As a teenager, I won many drama and public speaking contests, including those organized by the English Speaking Union. And then as a young adult, I was invited to judge those same contests for the next generation. I've appeared in television plays and commercial adverts, recorded numerous audio novels, and for seven years at BBC Radio Merseyside, I read short stories and poetry on the magazine programme called Right Now. For radio commercials and animated cartoon characters, I specialise in funny voices and all sorts of regional accents. I was married for many years to the late actor Ray Dumbobbin, and perhaps he was best known as Mr. Boswell in The Liver Birds and as Ralph Hardwick on Brookside. And that was a part that he played for over six years. And during that time, I myself appeared in Brookside, and I met many well known film, TV, and radio actors. My own books are mostly non-fiction. The two most popular are about the celebrities, both past and present, of the northwest of England. My writing style is very chatty and gossipy, and I include people from all walks of life, from showbiz and sport to political and scientific. The books have been available for many years at Waterstones and Smiths and Tesco and private bookshops and tourist out outlets as well. I'll be pleased to make available my books and sign them for cruise ship passengers. One of my talks might include such well-known figures as Ken Dodd, Rex Harrison and Kim Cattrall from the American series Sex in the City and also the rise and fall of Lord Nelson's beautiful mistress, Lady Emma Hamilton. Another talk could include jazz singer George Melly, orchestral conductor Sir Thomas Beecham, and I might tell you, both of those were very risque gentlemen. And then there's a sportsman Steve Gerrard, contrasted with politician Bessie Braddock, or glamorous, murderous Florence Maybrick, whose husband has been linked with Jack the Ripper suspects. My own life has been full of contrasts and a source of many highly amusing anecdotes. In after-dinner speeches, I enact the many eccentric or endearing characters and situations that I've encountered over the years. Another presentation could include the mean, moody, mysterious heroes of classical literature. Mr. Darcy, Mr. Rochester, Heathcliff, or Petruchio from The Taming of the Shrew. And this might spark off a discussion as to whether modern women would put up with such behaviour. <laughs> I also host murder mystery dinners in the character of Lady Catherine, the owner of a luxury cruise line. These are interactive comedy parties where guests take the roles of the showbiz and sports stars themselves, wearing suitable fancy dress. They're supposed to be on board an imaginary, exclusive, celebrity-only cruise. These evenings are hilarious and very popular for anniversaries, birthdays, hen nights, etc. I'll be pleased to take questions from guests at the end of my talks and would welcome a question and answer session conducted by the cruise director. I might finish by telling about an occasion when I was filming on location in Southern Ireland. 
every evening after filming to relax. We'd all go to a little ramshackle old pub for snacks and a nightcap. On the last evening of the shoot, I noticed that the elderly bloke from behind the bar was missing. Where's the old fella tonight? I asked the new young bartender. Ah, uh, what old fella? Sure, I'm the only man in this establishment. So I am. Uh, but I've been chatting to him every night for a week, I said. Ah, uh, sure, that's impossible. I was puzzled. I, I don't believe in ghosts. So I said, but he's always here. Old bloke, nearly bald. Grey waistcoat, braces hanging down. Uh, dirty fingernails. Always smokes a pipe. Ah, I'm witches now, he said. That's me mother. <laughs>